Salesforce for construction allows us to walk through the lead to opportunity to quote to job management process. So today we're going to take a look at starting off from a lead. So we get a lead from our marketing automation or from referral or word of mouth. We're putting it into the system. And then we're going to take a look at what that bid management process looks like. So if I scroll down here, I get a list of all of my hot leads. So I'm going to click on Darla. And here we get a few things. So we're able to see some high level information on her. We're able to take a look at all leads in her area. So I can see I've got three leads in Oakland, seven in San Francisco, and also from our marketing automation integration through Pardot, we're able to see all of her um, actions that she's engaged with through that automation channel. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna convert. So we're gonna convert, we're gonna create a new account, a new opportunity, and we'll do, we'll do a remodel. Remodel full. And then let me make sure that everything's good here. I think we can convert this. So we'll take a minute for that to convert and then we'll get a pop-up screen that says, congratulations, you converted into an account contact and an opportunity in Salesforce. There we go. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to Bodal Construction. Okay, so let's, uh, let's backtrack because this is not closed one as of yet. Um, so we'll mark that as the current stage. So here, what we're doing and what we're able to do through this bid process is a couple things. So we're able to do any triage work should it be necessary and then go from triage to estimation work to working to working with other contractors that we're going to invite to this um, to go through this bid process. So with Salesforce, we're able to identify key fields that need to be filled out in each stage, as well as, you know, best practices, guidance for success is what we're calling it here. Now, if we come down below, we see all of the information um, that we had collected from the lead when we converted. But what we want to really focus on and how we want to gain visibility to other contractors is by coming down here and selecting invited contract. So I'm going to invite Acme Partners here, and we're going to select them as a contractor here, and they're going to be the primary contractor. So what this is going to do is because Acme Partners is a part of our contractor portal that we've built on Salesforce Experience Cloud, they're then going to get a notification that they have been invited to bid on this job. But we still keep Darla Rio as that primary contact role. So we we've separated those and we segmented out those roles here within this contacts portion. Now we're gonna be working through this. So we'll just go straight to submitted. And so we're gonna do a couple things here. First is we're gonna add a product from our standard price book. So we're gonna add the remodeling labor product. So there we go. So, Show selected. So we've got remodeling labor. That's at a list price of $36,500. So what we've done is we've bundled that together. So that's going to be a couple different resources. Okay, so we're going to hit one uh, date we don't need to fill out. And we're just going to click save. Perfect. So now that we brought that over, what we can do is a couple different things here. So we can either use Salesforce CPQ to be able to generate a quote. So if we take a look at what that looks like, if we create this new quote, actually, let's, let's take a step back. Let me create a quote right here via this new action. So we're going to put Darla Rio as our primary contact. We're going to click save. So we're able to do this and then configure this to create a more robust quote. We'll exit out of there. So we can create a quote for those services as well as a bill of materials. So here, 
if we look through everything here right now, we can see that we can add a specialty tradesman, a handyman, a carpenter, an interior designer, a professional remodeler, and a landscaper, as well as just bundling that all together with remodeling labor. So if I select that, in here, it's all going to be bundled, and I can you know, take contractors away here, but it's still going to add up to that same price. Then click Save. Then from there, what we're going to do is we are just going to click Save here. And then from here, once I've gone through this whole process, I can then generate a document. And then we could call this, um, we call this a contract and preview that. So this is one way um, which gives you a lot more flexibility in how you price things out. Um, and actually, let me go back one second. We'll generate, uh, we will generate a quote instead, not a contract. It gives us a lot more flexibility doing it this way. Um, in terms of discounting, in terms of calculating those block prices, if I'm going to, you know, try and calculate a bill of materials, gives us a lot more flexibility there. Um, but this is this is great for more of those complex use cases that we typically run into on the platform. If we're looking for a more straightforward way. What I can do is looking at that product um, opportunity product right there. I can use a document generation tool like Formstack to then merge this um, based upon that opportunity line item. So here we can say, you know, take a look here. So we've got the remodeling labor. We can merge this now. Um, we'll just preview this instead. So what this will do is generate PDF um, that will then automatically be synced back into Salesforce. So it'll take just one second for that to generate. And so what it's doing is it's grabbing a couple pieces of the information here to be able to generate this document based upon templates that we've already created. And so once we've done that, so if we go back to the opportunity, we will toggle on closed one for this, save, and so what this will do is it'll then trigger the job management portion of this. So we'll get the confetti, everybody's happy here, and then we'll go under projects. And now we've got another project that's set to start here. And so if I click here, what this does is this allows me to work with my contractor team in a more visually appealing way here. So I can see the whole project laid out, the start dates, who's responsible, and what contractors, teams are going to be responsible for the ultimate delivery of that. So this can be exposed on a limited basis to both our customers. They should have insight into the progress of the project, as well as to our contractors to keep accountability here. So all the way from the lead to the actual creation and management of the job, Salesforce has the capability to tackle each problem that construction management firms, construction organizations face in their business processes.